This music video was made with just one image. I need a vacation from the simulation. I'm sick of information. Is Freepick like the king of the AI world, Eric? I definitely think so because the updates, they just seem to be nonstop. And today I'm going to show you some of the most recent ones. And don't forget to check the links in the description, guys. Because there'll be a link in the description to get a pretty big discount when you do sign up for Freepick. So let's go ahead and start with an impressive AI video update. That's going to be Kling 2.6. But one thing I noticed specifically is that Kling 2.6 actually does a very good job using JSON structured prompts. And today I'm going to show you a little bit of a cheat code that will easily convert awesome JSON prompts for AI images to JSON structured AI video prompts. <laughs> You're such a silly dragon. Now again, let's start basic. So let's come over here into my new database. This is the AI video engine. It's gonna contain AI video prompts. So just to first test out Kling 2.6, let's start with this prompt right here. So now let's head back over here in the free pick and here it is. On the left-hand side, let's select video generator. Now we'll open up our models and there it is right there. We have Kling 2.6. Let's go ahead and select it. Now you can see it does include start image, 1080p and the ability to add audio. Now let's Let's go ahead and paste in that specific prompt. Since this does have dialogue, let's go ahead and select a voice. Now this option appears up in the top left hand corner. So select voice just like that. And now look at all these amazing voices we have to choose at our fingertips. We'll go with this one right here, Taylor Morgan. Okay, she is selected. We'll first do this with no image for reference. Now I'll go ahead and do it immediately right away now and now add a specific start frame. Okay, so now back to the prompt portal there is the image i want to use as my reference image we'll go ahead and start with this one right here so let's go ahead and download this one okay there we go back over here now into free pick let's upload our image by clicking and dropping it right here on the right hand side so i'll click and now there we have it and another thing make sure you do have this little speaker turned on sometimes if it's turned off you'll be disappointed and you'll waste credits because you won't get any audio or dialogue so make sure that's turned on and now generate this one okay so while that's generating it does look like our first one is done there it is let's go ahead and check this one out well that wasn't a good idea now was it okay perfect that's exactly what we were looking for now this probably could have done a better job because it's hard to lip sync when you're blowing a bubble at the same time but nonetheless it did do exactly what I wanted we'll come back and see how this other one finalized once it's done being generated well, that wasn't a good idea, now was it? Let me show you another amazing update sticking to AI video. Since we're in Kling 2.6, open this up. As we scroll down, first of all, you can just take a look at the massive amounts of models that we have to choose from. So some of the newest ones will be highlighted in this blue. Kling 2.6, of course, Kling 01. But again, we also have Kling 2.6 motion control. We also have WAN 2.6, and C-Dance 1.5 Pro, which again is also pretty impressive. So let's try C-Dance Pro. Now again, you'll see in C-Dance 1.5 Pro, we're gonna have start end multi shots, up to three shots per video, and even audio. So I'll upload two images, okay? It's gonna be the supercar on the beach, and let's see if I can make the image actually show what my prompt says, where the vehicle will instantly start to drift and sand pops up from the wheels as a drone can be seen above following it. So let's go ahead and generate this one. Again, this is with C-Dance 1.5 Pro. Okay, so remember how I said that I can show you a quick cheat code to convert awesome JSON AI image prompts into AI video prompts. Okay, so for this one, let's go back to the AI video engine database. It's gonna be this prompt right here. It's basically a very easy instruction that's gonna allow any LLM to assess a JSON prompt and then restructure and reconvert it to work specifically for for AI video. And again, any prompts I share in these YouTube videos, including this one right here, will be available 100% for free via the link in the description. All right, so let's go ahead and copy the whole entire thing just like that. Next, we'll go ahead and open up ChatGPT. There it is right there. And now below it says paste your JSON prompt. So let's remove this little portion below and just add 
a hashtag, and then like the word prompt, just like this. There we go. Now let's paste that full prompt in. Just choose any prompt that you like that is a JSON structured one. And so for that, we're gonna go to my nano banana section right here and quickly find a prompt that I like that made a really good looking AI image. Okay, here is one I like right here. I think this one actually looks very good. Go back to chat GPT and now paste in that prompt. It's a long one, there it is. Now hit that submit button and you can see it instantly starts going to work. It is generating the code that I can copy and then test it out in free pick with cling 2.6. So while that prompt is continuing to be generated, let's look at our C dance video with that supercar on the beach and see how it all turned out. Now, remember I added both a start and end frame. Define your own horizon. Wow, now that was impressive how that worked out. Now, it did include some audio, which I didn't really specify, but nonetheless, I should have actually made this a longer video, but it did do very well for that short five seconds. Okay, so back to chat GPT, and now let's copy this prompt, the conversion one from a JSON image to now a AI video JSON structured prompt. With that prompt copy, we'll come back over here into free pick. Let's go and select Cling 2.6 yet again, remove any image I already had as a reference and remove the prompt, paste the new one in. There we have it, just like that. Again, we won't use a start image. We'll just see what happens from the start and I'll do it a second time with a start image. I'll leave the prompt in there and then I'll generate it again with my reference image. And now as far as the reference image, there it is right there. This will actually probably turn out better since that is my specific AI influencer character. It's now downloaded. Again, back over here into free pick. Let's add that start image. Drop it in. And now we're ready to go on this one. And now let's just go ahead and generate it. Now, if you wanted to add a voice, which I didn't have this included in the prompt, you could come back over in the chat GPT and scroll all the way down to the bottom and then just say something like, rewrite the prompt again, but add this dialogue so the woman says, and then just put in the quotation marks what you want her to say. And then it will just rewrite that full JSON prompt. And then you could try it again with that dialogue and then just see how that turns out. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Okay, now back into free pick. Now this one is incredible. Up in the top left hand corner, do you see where we have an option that's called tools? Now before I do select this, have you noticed that when you go over each of these other ones, for example, if I select audio, look at these other options we have. For one, we have music. Now I don't know if you knew this, but 11 Labs music is actually built in. I could describe any sort of music genre that I want. and and then per 11 labs, I'll instantly get an amazing AI song. We also have voiceover to where, again, utilizing 11 labs V3 alpha, which in my opinion makes the best dialogues. This is now included in free pick, which is a huge game changer. But what I do want to show you that is new is let's select tools. But the one I want to focus on and that is the newest is right here. It's called variations. Check how awesome this is. Now, all we have to do is add an existing image. Let's take something like this with this prompt. Now, you can see that two different models created different looks. And so just depending on that, you can see how good these images actually turned out. So let's go ahead and use this one done in Nano Banana. So all we'll do is click and drop it right there to use as our start image. Now, what we'll do next is we have different modes. Let's select storyboard to describe our scenes. Now, just simply choose the ratio you want. We're going to select that widescreen one, our grid size, we'll stick with three, three. And now all we have to do is just describe our narrative. And now with the different frames that we're going to get, we can then use those for new AI videos. And now look at all these awesome frames that we're going to get. That's the first one. As I scroll, it's going to do exactly what I wanted. Same girl, same dragon, all different cool scenes, putting her in that new modern mega world. We can then take each of these images and seamlessly make an amazing AI video movie, making it easier than ever before. Okay, so there you have it. Some amazing free pick updates. And again, remember to check the links in the description. And if you do like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Mule is so fire.